Hello to all my beautiful Burmese friends. I'm so excited to be with you. I'm Miranda Nelson. Hello, me. Do you have a two-way one that bar? It's my chisia gongne. Yama, me swim ya. Hello, go. No such a mare. It's my name, Miranda Nelson. Ma. And I'm very blessed and honored to be with you through this Zoom meeting in your time of prayer, your 24-hour prayer, these 21 days. What a special time. And really, it's a special time to be uh, serving the Lord, Amen. So I'm excited. I'm just going to begin by praying. There's a bunch of things on my heart today that I want to release to you, both through the scriptures and through decrees. And of course, um, we'll release prayers and decrees at the end of this broadcast. But uh, let me just begin by inviting Holy Spirit to just release his word. So Holy Spirit, we just thank you so much for your goodness and your faithfulness to commune, to fellowship with us, your people. And Holy Spirit, I ask right now, Lord, that for every single person tuning in, God, that you would move on their hearts, that you would move on their minds, that you would move, Lord, in their spirits. Awakening a great faith, God. I thank you for their faith, but Lord, I'm asking for more, greater faith in every single one of us. Holy Spirit, I ask that your words would be released today. I ask that your prophetic words would be released today. Your scripture would be released today. The things on your heart, Holy Spirit, would be released today. So God, we just give you permission to move to shine on our hearts and to increase our faith and to and open our ears to hear and our eyes to see what you would say to the bride. And so Lord, have your way. We welcome you this time in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. 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 Now again, it's so good to be with you. I'm so glad, so honored to be with you. Um, I just love all of you, people of Myanmar, Burmese friends. We love you so much. Both my husband Jeremy and I uh, send our greetings and we just really, really love you. So, we are praying for you and we're going to continue to pray for you. 
But a few things the Lord's put on my heart today. I've been praying leading up to this time, um, day after day for you. I've been praying into this meeting. I don't take it lightly. It is an honor. ตมะดีเนยอดวัดพยาธิคินธรรมกุโรบาเปาะจินเลยสุบิ to be with you and to share what's on the Lord's heart. And it's an honor to share uh, whatever He may want to release to you. And I really believe that this is a time also of impartation. That as you've been praying and seeking the Lord in these 21 days, that God is also releasing an impartation to you of greater faith and awakening. But listen, this is what I want to release to you today, and we're going to go to a bunch of scriptures today. Hear these not only as scripture, but as words for you. How many know that the word of God, the scriptures, the Bible, it is historical, but it's also prophetic. It is alive and well, and the Holy Spirit brings the word of God to life. <laughs> In order to empower and enable us and grace us with faith, amen. And with the things of God, with to be mobilized in the things of the kingdom. And so I'm going to release a bunch of scriptures today. We'll read some, we'll just mention some, paraphrase some. But I want you to hear this with with spiritual ears today and with faith today because God wants to release this in your life. Now listen, this is what I believe the Lord is saying in this hour for you, my beautiful friends of Myanmar. God is awakening the church of Myanmar. He is raising up a remnant. I really believe this is the time when a remnant of God is being awakened. Now, you know from scripture that God continually awakens a remnant of people of faith. And I want to look first, you know, just mentioning very briefly, actually, probably, uh, in Daniel. Now, Daniel and his friends, Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego, they were a people of faith, but they were also taken captive. And we know from the book of Daniel, Daniel chapter 1, verse 1, it says this. In the, in the New International Version, it says, In the third year of the reign of Jehoiakim, king of Judah, Nebuchadnezzar, king of Babylon, came to Jerusalem and besieged it. Now that's not good news. The people of God 
living in Jerusalem. The city was besieged by this king, Nebuchadnezzar of Babylon. ဒေလာနာကတိကျန်အခန်းကြီးတက်အငယ်တက်မှာရုဒ္ဓရှင်ပြင်မြို့ရခဲ့နန်းဆန်သုံးနှစ်တွင်ဘာဘိုလုံရ
uh, to serve him. Now, you know, sometimes we, we do, you know, do things culturally, but in this sense, in this case, the key point is that Daniel decided he would not defile himself. He, he purposed in his heart, he resolved in his heart not to defile himself with the, with the royal uh, food and the royal drink. And in this way, he he chose a lifestyle of no compromise. And of course, Daniel found favor in the king's officials' eyes. And when he tested out uh, this, this particular diet, for instance, along with his friends, it ended up being that their appearance ended up being better and their nutrition, uh, their health, they looked better nourished. <laughs> ပြောတယ်တော်သူတို့ရဲ့ဒီမိမစို့ဥပ်ကိုကျွန်တော်တို့ကိုတိတတ်တော်ဖျားတခင်မကြိုက်တဲ့အစားအစားတွေမစားပ
Now this has been an issue for generations and generations, even in the early church period, you know, after Jesus came, died, rose again, ascended into heaven, there were many generations of Christians, Christ followers, who were persecuted and many, many stood up to the gospel, to the resurrection of Jesus Christ, refusing to give in to the person, refusing to give in to uh, Emperor worship, refusing to give in to idolatry. But then there were a few always who would who would give in to the idolatry because of fear. Now I'm telling you, friends, that God is raising up a people in Myanmar. He's raising up a Burmese people who would not be afraid of man, who would not be afraid of political situations, who would not be afraid of terror. By day or by night, but who would be radically bold and faith-filled for the King of Kings. Now, I know this is already happening, and God is showing me that He is raising up a remnant in this time. Listen, just like the tanks come in, God is raising up the tanks for Jesus, the soldiers for Jesus. Just like the Bible so often talks about an army of God being raised up. God is raising up his army. He's raising up not about violence, but I'm talking about a bold, courageous people that would take ground for the kingdom. I really believe this is a word of the Lord for Myanmar, for you, my friends of Myanmar. The Burmese people, that God is raising up soldiers for Christ. Again, I'm not talking about in the natural. I'm not talking about uh, a people who would, who would give to violence, who would, who would uh, uh, be violent. Jema dilu piolo no tingu tua piro sita lo balu jema piu cina mau bu Yesu atuat siti ro tiaw ane ne piaya nangen no tema Yesu ane mete ya me duri gu piu raba. But I'm talking about a people who will be radically bold following the commander of heaven, Jesus Christ. Those who would be radically bold and would give their lives for Jesus Christ. I really believe that God is raising up a remnant and he's raising up a, an army of God in Myanmar in this hour. Those who will be radically faith-filled, radically bold, radically courageous. That's what Daniel, Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego uh, really testified of. That's, that's what they demonstrated in the book of Daniel in the Bible. And, you know, obviously we mentioned Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego being thrown in the fiery furnace. God manifested himself. It says that a fourth man showed up in that fire that day in Daniel chapter 
มีเรกุปิชาจินแคนยาเรอะคามะพยากูไรไลยอวิตรุเนตุทินชาเรมีเรมานมะเลยยอมๆลูโกตรุเมียยาเรไอ้ตูกาเยชูคริสต์อพย
And in 1 Samuel chapter 17, what happens is very interesting because David witnesses the Philistines. He sees Goliath, this giant of the Philistines, whom God, David believed that God had given the Philistines into their hand. And so the battle was God. And David knew that, but the children of God, the others, his brothers, they were afraid. And it actually says, you can look at one verse with me, in 1 Samuel 17, verse 24, it says, Whenever the Israelites saw the man, speaking of Goliath, they all fled from him in great fear. ดาวิกามีเนอะคะมาอะยันอ่ะออเรดมายาซวนปฐมะซาอ่าคันจีสักคนเนอะงเนสะลีมาเนาะจมะเนอะอดุดุดิยาลีโกอ่าพัจจิ
prayer that God is putting a boldness in you, a tenacity in you that won't give up. ดีนะสัตย์เนี่ยเดซูดาวน์เนี่ยอเฉยมาเปลี่ยนเพียงอาทิตย์เก่งอาทิตย์เนี่ยอเฉยมาเย็นเย็นเนี่ยเทไปเ
family, his entire household, the Bible says, ended up becoming born again. They called on the name of the Lord. Now, I really believe uh, that this is what the Lord is doing in this hour for you in Myanmar, that in this hour, there are going to be entire households, companies of people, clusters of people that are going to give their lives to Jesus in this hour, whether it be from you witnessing or God visiting and encountering one or two or more individuals in a household. And as a result, an entire household is going to be saved. I really believe that you watch as households are going to be born again in this hour, as God is going to meet people and clusters of people are going to become born again in this hour. But in the midst of that, God is putting a faith and a boldness in you. I want to encourage you and challenge you not to be afraid, not to be ashamed of the gospel. Paul said that, right? That we're not to be ashamed of the gospel. We're to be bold. It is power. The gospel is power. Do you believe that? Gospel isn't mere words. The gospel is power. This is what the resurrection of Jesus signifies. The resurrection of Jesus, see, when, when Jesus died, uh, when he was crucified, his disciples there on earth, they had actually believed this was the Messiah. We know this is the Messiah. They believed this was the Messiah. But when, they, when he was crucified, many fled, unfortunately, because they lost hope. But then on that third day, when Jesus rose from the dead, their hope was reignited because they realized there was power in the gospel. They realized this wasn't just their teacher, their rabbi. This wasn't just their Messiah. This was the Son of God. And in the resurrection of Jesus, there was power for resurrection power for today as well. And that is the very reason why Peter, who had denied Jesus before the, or, you know, during his trial, before the crucifixion, that uh, why he, Peter, in Acts chapter 2, rose up on that day of Pentecost and bravely, boldly preached the gospel. Listen, God is releasing and restoring, renewing that boldness once again, that you, you can take hold of the gospel as power. The resurrection of Jesus signifies power for those who believe. Amen. And I'm telling you that God is releasing power to you. Now, let me tell you again that God is raising up a remnant. And part of that, what, one of the things it's going to look like, even in Myanmar, even for you, his people, and I know you're in 21 days of solid praying, devoted praying right now. But let me tell you what the Lord showed me. He showed me that in this season, God is raising up houses of prayer in your nation. <laughs> Now, 
that, and I know, I believe there's been, there have been houses of prayer, but I believe that in this season, you're going to see as, as believers, just like I mentioned that there's going to be clusters of people who are going to become born again in this hour. Some of you are going to hear about it, or some you'll hear about, and some you might not. Some you may hear about in years down the road. เออเตยตัดได้มาคุกกะนะมาจีมาเรยิ่งเต็มบวยจีเรมาป่าวเว้นขึ้นยาเลยเมจมาเปียวจีมาเรยิ่งเต็มบวยลูกเปียวเรค
they refused to give in to fear, though that fear might have been daunting, it might have been tempting, but they chose to put their faith and their hope and their trust in Jesus Christ. แล้วเมื่อบลูเวคแค่เค้มุริจုံเนี่ยบาสิยုံจีตุเรียจ้อกยะเมษะมญอลิ้นเจติเนี่ยพยาธิกินทางปูปิ้อโตวินจ้าเ
The church was earnestly praying to God for Peter, and the night before Herod was to bring him to trial, verse 6, Peter was sleeping between two soldiers bound with two chains, and sentries uh, stood guard at the entrance. Suddenly, an angel of the Lord appeared, and a light shone in the cell. He struck Peter on the side and woke him up. Quick, get up, he said, and the chains fell off Peter's wrist. So, now I want I want you to see something. Because, because this angel appears to Peter, but Peter doesn't even know if this is a vision or what this is. And but the angel instructs him, put on your clothes and sandals, verse 8 says, Peter did so. Uh, uh, and Peter followed him out, the angel out of the prison. He had no idea what the angel was doing. Uh, was really happening he thought he was seeing a vision but so they pass through they get out of the prison and then when they get out of the prison suddenly the angel leaves him end of verse 10 verse 11 says then peter came to himself and said now i know without a doubt that the lord has sent his angel and rescued me from herod's clutches and from everything the jewish people were hoping would happen <laughs> ตะกันโยตะกาก็นี่ปิโรผัดเปียดเพียดปิโรขอตั๋วได้ปิโรก้าวเงินจะมันก็ตุโกตะเนียก็ปอเลยไอ้รออะไรหลุมโยก้าว
were praying for Peter's release, they were astonished when they saw him at the door. Maria, a man she had a bear or a Pedro Lupoya and do a suit down the jabby, may Pedro let again Lula your toilet to your own only jarry. But listen, this shows the power of prayer. And I believe this is what God is going to release in this hour in Myanmar, that he's going to raise up houses, communities of prayer. Whether it be your family, uh, you know, your church group, home group. Whatever it may be that God is going to raise up these pockets of prayer in homes where the prayers go up the roof, just like what you're doing right now in these 21 days of prayer, that God is amplifying faith and probably i believe as well the voice of the lord in your life in fact i believe that many of you can attest to the fact that you are hearing god's voice uh in an increased measure and some of you are probably seeing visions and having dreams more than you've ever had before i know this is happening for some of you you can probably Nod your head, yes, that is happening, because this is what God does in the time of powerful prayer. Now, we don't have to think we're powerful in prayer. All we have to do is we're two or more gathered. Listen, God is raising up his remnant who would meet and gather and pray. And seek the Lord and who would believe and who would fast and who would give time to God together in community. And again, it doesn't have to be many of you. It can be clusters of you meeting in different houses around your city, around your cities. Uh, in whatever region you're in, in your community, I believe that God is raising up houses of prayer and some of you are going to feel compelled, feel led to pray even 24 hours um, or have segments of time, periods of time where you wake up from 3 to 6 a.m. In the morning to pray, or some of you from 9 to 12. 9 p.m. to 12 uh, at night, midnight. To pray, or some of you from 6 a.m. to 9 a.m., you're going to devote that time to devote that time to prayer. But but I believe that this is a time where God is calling his remnant to arise and for houses of prayer to be established. In your nation. And in the midst of that, you are going to begin to see change. I really believe that things, I, I see the light at the end of the tunnel. I believe that, you know, Isaiah 60 says, Arise, shine. Verse 1 says, Arise, shine, for your light has come. The glory of the Lord has risen upon you. Darkness covers the earth. Deep darkness covers the people. But the Lord will arise upon you, and his glory will be seen upon you. That's Isaiah 60, verse 1 to 3. <laughs> 
ตินชาลอลินลอติอะลินยောက်ลาบิชาพระพยัยบုံးลอติติอปอมาปอทวนเลยชีจิชุลอมอกไม่ติเมจิโอพုံးลั่นเลยมีถูดอมอกไม่
um, I heard, and I, it's a scripture, but I heard this um, while I was just seeking the Lord. Um, the Lord spoke to me out of uh, Mark chapter 6, um, and I heard this phrase that I knew were Jesus's words. You're going to probably remember the story when you hear the words. But I heard these words, take courage, it is I. Take courage, it is I, don't be afraid. And these words I heard by the Spirit of the Lord, uh, I heard for you, take courage, it is I. Don't be afraid. Take courage, it is I. But I heard these words and I knew they were Jesus' words when Jesus came walking out on water in the midst of the winds, um, pushing the, the boat. And so you can look at the story later if you want in Mark chapter 6. But in Mark chapter 6, you see this in verse 45, Jesus made his disciples get into a boat and go on ahead of him to Bethsaida uh, while he dismissed the crowd. But after leaving them, he went up on the mountainside to pray. Uh, and later that night, the boat was in the middle of the lake and he was alone on the land and he saw the disciples straining at the oars. It was difficult. Why? Because the wind was against them. <laughs> ซีเวโดตุโรโกลิตอมูซินเวตะเบโรโรโกลีซีเวกันตะพะบะเซดามิโตอะยินกูเซโรมุยซีเวโดตุโรโกลุปิมาสุตังปะทนาปิ๊ว
And they were completely amazed. The wind died down as soon as Jesus stepped into the boat, but he came out walking on the water saying, take courage it is I, don't be afraid. And I believe that in this hour, God is speaking to you in Myanmar. He's saying, take courage, it is I, don't be afraid. Jesus is saying this to you. Take courage, it is I, don't be afraid. God's not afraid of what the future holds. Jesus is not afraid of what's happening in Myanmar. Listen, he is excited for the church to arise. He excites. <laughs> He is excited for the remnant to arise. He's excited for you, his glorious sons and daughters. To arise in faith, to arise and shine for your light has come. And he's saying in this time that for those of you that have felt like you've been straining at the oars, that have been going against the wind, the wind's been against you, and it's felt tough, it's been challenging, that in this season, you watch as Jesus steps into your boat and gives you peace, gives you calm, calms the wind that is going against you. And he gives you faith and calm, faith and peace. Listen, I believe that in this season, you're going to see that things that were a struggle in the last season, there is grace in this season. You watch, this is a season of grace. I believe it. I believe this for Myanmar, that this is a season of grace for you, that God is releasing great grace over you. He's releasing great grace. Do you know that in the book of Acts, when in the midst of persecution, there was Great grace. Great grace was upon the apostles. Great grace was upon the people of God. That's why they saw signs and wonders. That's why they saw notable miracles. And you watch as notable miracles happen in your nation. You watch as notable miracles happen to some key leaders, some influential people. You watch as amongst uh, in businesses, but especially amongst uh, key influential people political people, uh, people in, in government, people in the city council, you watch as some of them get specific miracles. And you watch as their hearts begin to be softened. But I'm telling you that some of you that have been through a rough season in the last season, even in 2021, through the challenges, felt like you were going against the wind, that in this season, 2022, you're going to begin to see grace. Come forth in a new measure. You're going to see as Jesus, he's walking towards you on the water. He's not afraid. He's saying, take courage it is I, don't be afraid. And he's stepping into your boat. This is the, this is the moment in time you're in right now. I heard the phrase, take courage, it is I. 
take courage, it is I. It was in that moment that Jesus had walked on water and he was about to get into the boat. The disciples were afraid that this was a ghost, but it was the moment in time, that transition of Jesus walking toward them on the water and the moment when he was about to step into the boat. You watch, this is a season right now. You're in this season where in the midst of your prayers that Jesus is coming to meet you where you're at. He's saying, take courage to desire. Don't be afraid. He's stepping into the boat. He's putting peace to those windy, uh, those waves, those wind, that wind that's against you. He's bringing a calm, he's bringing a peace, he's bringing a stillness. To you, and I really believe that you're going to begin to hear the voice of God in a new way, in that stillness, uh, a peace, um, as well as the signs and wonders of God are going to take place. The, those, those waves just died down. The wind died down the moment Jesus stepped foot in that boat. And you watch as the, the, wind that, the wind that's felt against you, the current that's felt against you, the struggles that you've been going through. You watch in this season where it felt like you were trying to preach the gospel and it was challenging, that in this season it's going to be easy, grace-filled. You watch in this season where some of the harder hearted people were again hard-hearted last year last season in this year there's their hearts are going to be softened you watch as some of the some of the miracles you've been contending for, some of the healings you've been contending for, for individuals, though it felt like you were getting no breakthrough last season, this season there's breakthrough coming. I'm telling you, there's a season of breakthrough. But again, I want to, uh, cause I want to pray here in a moment for you. Uh, I want to, I've been releasing decrees as I've been sharing the word with you. I've been decreeing this entire time and prophesying into your nation. But I want to, I want to specifically pray and I want to release some decrees uh, in the midst of praying for you, uh, for you individually, corporately, and your nation as a whole. Uh, but, but I want you to, to grab hold of faith today because Listen, friends, God is putting, he's sparking a faith in you. This is a hopeful time. This is a time when God is on the move. This is a time for Myanmar. This is a time for the remnant to arise. This is a time when... He's raising up his, his army of God. Last thing I want to say, and then we're going to pray, is um, just, in fact, just before I came on here, the Lord reminded me of this passage of scripture, which I'm sure you're all familiar with. This is a passage uh, in Ephesians, and uh, in Ephesians, we're probably all familiar with uh, the armor of God, but the Lord put this on my heart right before I came onto this broadcast. <laughs> Uh, uh, 
o arasa the zoom call and i want to read this to you really quickly and this ties together really all that um we've been speaking about this entire time dia ha jama ro khuna ro nga ho pyo ke ya ya a lo ne chai sam mu shi ya phit ba de uh as well as what he wants to release to you and what he wants to put on you in this season di ka la ma tin po ma tu lat nat tat sin pe chin ne ya ri le phit ba de so it says this Ephesians 6 verse 10 Finally be strong in the Lord and in his mighty power put on the full armor of God so that you can take your stand against the devil's schemes for our struggle is not against flesh and blood but against the rulers against the authorities against the powers of this dark world and against the spiritual forces of evil in the heavenly realms therefore put on the full armor of God so that when the day of evil comes you may be able to stand your ground and after you have done everything to stand stand firm then with the belt of truth buckled around your waist with the br- the breastplate of righteousness in place and with your feet fitted with the readiness that comes from the gospel of peace in addition to all this take up the shield of faith with which you can extinguish all the flaming arrows of the evil one take the helmet of salvation and the sword of the spirit which is the word of god and verse 18 says this and pray in the spirit on all occasions with all kinds of prayers and requests with this in mind be alert and always keep on praying for all the lord's people e pa ora sa khan ni chao ange ta se ga ni twin di do sa ga hu mu ga ni ko ro ta khin phaya a phin la ga ta go ro a shin a phin la ga khain khan jin shi ja lo ma nai pri ye ro ko si ta nai mi chao phaya ta khin pin sin no mu do lat na song ko wis sin ja lo a cha mu ga nga ro di atwe ta shi do yan du ro ne sign pyai tai lan ya ja di ma ho thu myat to ni la ga a na zat to ni la ga thu a লোগি মা মাই নাই সোটে আপ মেনো নেগ মো গাও নি আউ নাই নি দো নো নেগাও সাই টাই নাই থা খেয়ে সৌ দো নি কালা নাই সি টাই ফে কেসা আলো সৌদো গো পি সি খেয়ে নাই যাও ফেয়া দিকে পেনসেন নমুদো লো জুসাম যালো তেসা ডি হুদো খাবেন সিলে ফ্যামে ছেন পারমি ডি হুদো ইয়ে ও তাকে বেসেন লি তেনো এম গে লি দিয়ে হবে পেনসেন দো আফে ডি হুদো ছে সুকো সোল খে চালো মানে যে খাদো মিজা লো কাতাই ইং জি জিন ডি হুদো লোহাগো লে খাতই নো ল নো অপমা থাকে জুসাম যালো কেটেন জিন ডি হুদো তং খামা লোক গোলগাঁও ফেয়া কে ইন গো ডি হুদো উই নো ই ঢা গোলগাঁও জু যালো কালা আসে সৈন লোক পালে সুটাও পাঠনা পিউজে আমি মেয়ে রোপে সুটাও যালো থো তো সুটাও যে আম লিওবে আমা সাবে তেন দুরো আপাউন ফো সুটাও লে সব চালো this is my word to you this is paul's word to the ephesians the church of ephesus but this is my word to you da ha polu ga e phat atin no go pyo ri saga phit pa re da be me di saga ha tin twa chit ma pyo re nyin ma nai ngan twa chit ma pyo ri saga le phit pa re put on the full armor of god don't stop praying pray in the spirit as um uh, as ephesians 6:18 says pray in the spirit on all occasions with all kinds of prayers and requests with this in mind be alert and always keep on praying for all the lord's people when you learn some wisdom ma ari pye kala asin sutaw patana pyu le ni ba ange sa shi ma pyo lo kala asin sain long pa le sutaw patana myo myo do phit sutaw ja lo tho do sutaw jin ga a ma li yo be le sutaw ja ba Remember I said God is raising up houses of prayer a people of prayer in your nation a remnant. Jama pyo ma mi de la phaya kin a ai ne ma su taw ne ai ne mya zwa po thwat si me phaya ta kin twa ye yin zwa a tat shin ne lu re po thwat si me. Who will pray? Houses of prayer, people of prayer. Su taw ne du re su taw ne ai ne po thwat la. Time for you to, and it's time for you to continue to pray not only pray for your nation but pray for your brothers and sisters in Christ then to sit down me then nine and to sit down and make call crypto na ni ko mau na ma ri to le sit down be ya me that just like in Mary's house the group of believers met in Acts chapter 12 to pray for Peter's release and Peter was released tomorrow to my no with to can you send it to a call away Pedro to Maria a maluria so be to sit down ja re de lo di call ma chano to ni ko mau na ma ri to sit down be ya me going to see in this season that God is going to do miracles on your behalf he's going to do miracles for the believers and through the believers signs and wonders through the believers 
ตีนตะตะมาเนเมลขณะဖြစ်လာမယ်ယုံကြည်သူတွေအားဖြင့်နေမိလခဏဖြစ်လာမယ်အဲ့ဒီအချင်းချင်းစုတောင်းပေးခ
for you, I want to pray specifically for you. Those of you watching, I want you to put your hand on your heart right now. Then, just like my coach, my two sudam made it. Just like two sudam made it. Let go, mimi, go, go, my coach, and tap. And I want you to receive right now. Then, just like my luck, I'm a juba. Um, uh, uh, an impartation of faith and hope and courage. Jongji Jin, Miao Lin Jin, Ye Yin Jin, Ne, let go, my juba. Uh, and strength. And an increase. I know that you've already been receiving this. You've been doing this. You have incredible leaders. Then you could say, "Ma, no, certain people young, 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 they do poor things. Only let them hear you. But just by young, 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 they know a million of them. They just hear you. But they hear you. Who are full of faith and and who are prayer people, intercessors. They know how to do it. 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 Um, and who are bold warriors for the King of Glory? Paya the kind of jayjan e duri. Paya the kind of bone pete. Paya the kind bone or the palm so low de duri pete. And I just want to do my part, and I want to pray for an impartation um, from this end. And so, Holy Spirit, I thank you. I thank you for my my beautiful brothers and sisters across the world. Kuro kuro ko Jesus dene kuro yata de mire kaban nainga ati ti a chisya kaune. Thank you for my beautiful brothers and sisters of Myanmar. God, I pray right now, Lord, for every single one watching, Lord. To the people in Myanmar, God, I pray for the people in Myanmar, Lord, that you would release, God, that you would release, God, a great faith in their bones, in their spirit, God. Through it, you don't change the name, God, you don't change the name, God. Lord, I thank you for an impartation of courage. And boldness. Through it, they must young, 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 take it on me, ba. And strength, God, Lord, that you would raise up, Lord, like you've been showing me, you would raise up and awaken. God, through it, no time mu atu atombiu ba. Your remnant in that nation. To nanga atu paya atu atashene lure pi atombiu ba. You would raise up, God. Uh, that remnant of light and glory and faith, God, that in the midst of darkness they would shine, they would radiate. Dilo mau mai de achi ma, alin te koro te alin e duri pi si ba. In the midst of darkness, Lord, they would not be afraid. They would not cower back. Like through ha mau mai te ma nau pi am so pu malaya do abu sepi pia do ata shine duri pi si ba. Uh, David's brothers cowered before uh, Goliath, but like David, Dawei Agoria, the Goliath and Dawei Mesure come and now so do other lumiu throw them pi ba zine. Dawei ke do. These ones, my brothers and sisters here watching right now, God, that they would be raised up in faith and boldness, God, that they would take hold. Di ma chi shu ne ne ni ko man wa ti ao chen zine ha Dawei ke do. Yong ji jin ye yin jin ne jin sai ne du re pi si ba. Of courage, knowing that. Lord, you are for them, God. Koro hatro atwa shima. Koro hatro to mete ye me sura. Tamiro yomji le dure pi se ba. And if you are for them, who can be against them? Tamiro to koro shire so tamiro to pama badu a mete ye na. And so Lord, I thank you for an impartation of that boldness and courage and faith. God, I thank you right now. Koro ari yomji jin ye yin jin ko ame tamiro ko pele to jam Jesus dene. Lord, that you're doing signs and wonders in their nation. Through it, at that time, my name is Kanari. Now, my eyes are through nine and I'm going to pray to my Father, Lord Jesus, today. Father, I thank you, Lord, that even Lord signs in the natural are going to awaken some of the sleeping. Natural, the power take the Kanari up in the eight billion in the day. Guru, no wrong move. Some of the slumbering people, God. We need to make eight billion in the day. No wrong. Lord, signs and wonders are going to begin to awaken, Lord, those who don't yet know you, God. Koro ko mati dere dure ko dbawa lo na mai lakha nam yane koro no ro muba. Lord, that God, Hindu people who don't know you are going to encounter you in this season, God. Hindu lo mure koro kya ko mati dere dure koro ko ti labo dumur sudam ne. Buddhist people who don't yet know you, God, are going to be awakened in this season, God. Kuro pota baga kope re duri. Kuro kumati de re duri le ti la po yanda tamre su down ne. Lord, political leaders and influential people, God, in in government in their city, God, 
Lord, are going to be awakened in this hour, God. Their hearts are going to be softened. Nangano so yari gong zoni tema o luamu mushire duri pia the king umati dere duri tere nalona re koro hanunyan sepiro pia lazy ba. Lord, I declare this, God, a softening of the hardest hearts in this hour, God. A kukala ma ma jojo nalona dari go koro nunyan ziba. I thank you. I see God taking a sword and shattering rocks, shattering uh, the hard places that stood uh, that stood in the cracks. Even of people's hearts. Uh, hard rocks. I see him shattering those things in order to make room for his spirit to shine. So Holy Spirit, I thank you that you would shine on the hardest hearts. You would get into the crevices, the nooks and crannies, God, of the hardest hearts, God. I thank you that you're removing the rocks. And even part of that is in you, uh, fellow believers, that God is removing rocks of offense. And some of you are going to, in this hour, need to release um, places of unforgiveness, bitterness, uh, pain, fear, places where uh, maybe you've held a grudge or unforgiveness. <laughs> Um, bitterness, harbored uh, offense against people that have wronged you and maybe even uh, maybe even in politics, maybe even in society uh, where you've held this grudge or an offense that I see God removing the stones of offense. And it's up to us to actually let those things go, to let those offenses go, to uh, ask forgiveness and to also release, extend forgiveness to those that have hurt us, um, even in the nation. Um, because that's not for us to hold on to. Come on, Jesus sees all. God is over all and he is able to do the impossible. In impossible situations, and he's not worried about the situation. And so, Holy Spirit, I thank you that you're removing rocks of offense. God, I thank you that in this hour you're releasing signs and wonders. God, I thank you, Lord, that you're going to move in the school system. God. Lord, that where things have been shut up, where things have been closed, where things, uh, where it's felt like things have been stagnant and dormant uh, and not being able to move, God, it's almost felt like they've been in miry clay um, uh, or even cement, just a uh, concrete. <laughs> Just uh, uh, in one stationary place, God, that in this season you're breaking loose, God, that sword is hitting the concrete, that sword is hitting the ground, God, where things were so firm, so so firm. Uh, in dominance, God, that you're bringing a softening, you're bringing a shattering, God, you're bring, you're shattering the hardest places, God. In order to bring your kingdom 
forth, God. Uh, just like King Nebuchadnezzar had a dream where he saw kingdoms, uh, he saw kingdoms of the earth, but but this this stone, this this thing that uh, that was God's kingdom. Koro nanga no ti thang si ba. Nibo kan ni zam ni mat lo be. Koro ye nanga no ha. A ti mi ezo no nanga pi ba re actually overwhelmed, overcame all these kingdoms of the earth. And God, I thank you that in this hour, Lord, in Myanmar, God, your kingdom is going to dominate. God, that where it felt like things were stone concrete, where it felt like things were stuck uh, in a ridge. In in, in place, God, and unable to be moved, unable to be shaken. God, you're shaking things up. And you're hitting things with the sword of the spirit. You're awakening even where there's been religion, dry religion. God, you're shaking things up with the sword of the spirit. Lord, and the word of God in order to bring truth, in order to bring the supernatural God kind. You bring signs and wonders, the God kind. The power of the Lord, the Lord, I thank you for signs and wonders taking place, and God, you making your people. Signs and wonders on the earth. And so, Lord, I thank you for my beautiful Burmese friends, my brothers and sisters across the world. God, mark them. I see God marking your forehead with the mark of God. With with, with glory, with this beautiful brilliance that just like Moses' face shone with the glory. He's making the glory be seen upon you. And so, Lord, I thank you right now, God, that you're marking my brothers and sisters. God, I thank you that you're shifting things, Lord, that there's a shaking of the ground that's um, taking place, uh, be, Lord, be, as you bring in, as you usher in your kingdom through your kingdom people. God's ushering in his kingdom uh, through you. Amen. That you are here for such a time as this, and God's signs and wonders are going to be seen. You're going to see as all of a sudden, breakthrough, victory. Signs and wonders begin to take place in your life like you've never experienced before. So, Father, I thank you for that. God, I thank you, Lord, for this commissioning over your people. Um, Lord, I thank you for the houses of prayer being released, God, and radical faith uh, and prayer, coupled with prayer, shifting things in the natural, God. And Lord, your light and harvest coming forth in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. God bless you. I pray you receive something today. Amen. I know you did. Hope is being released in your nation. Things are shifting. For the good, because I believe that you know, in the darkest of times, God's glory shines the brightest. But 
but he's shifting things in your heart so that you can go out with boldness and be the beautiful warrior bride that God has called you to be. ตีอัตถะตาได้มาแล้วพระคิมเปียงเลยไปเมโทรเข้ามาตีชาวแลนด์ได้ค่ะมายีจินบีลับปาเรคริสโตเยตรูดมีอันนี้เนี่ยชา